From a young age, she just had this natural talent. Her achievements have been phenomenal. I have tears in my eyes when I see her come into the ring. Proud, more than proud. Lauren, it's very nice to see you. Lovely to meet you, it was an honour. It was lovely to have a chat and when did you find out that you were definitely going to be in the Tokyo Olympics? Uh, I qualified a couple of weeks ago out in, in Paris, but going back in 2019, I just won European Games and then winning the World Championships. The following year I was meant to qualify in March, but obviously we hit the Covid pandemic and they got postponed. Mentally it was, it was very tough, challenging at times. I was 18 months out of the ring. And for those 18 months, how do you keep your mind and your body busy, active, you're doing sort of beneficial training? To be fair to GB Boxing, they helped me out massively. They sent equipment out to me, weights. I was doing squats with wheelie bins, uh, using them as squat racks. Yeah, a, a lot of question marks in my head. Um, 18 months out of the ring, it was, am I as good as I used to be? You just come off one of the most amazing years in your career and yet that doubt starts to creep in. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was odd. It was really mentally challenging, not so much physical, but just more mentally than anything. Your nan has been a big part of your life, and your, your granddad as well, who yeah. sadly, did he pass away last year? Yeah, he, um, he had dementia, and yeah, he sadly passed away. He was basically like a father figure to me. Lauren's parents weren't able to look after her, so we offered to take responsibility for Lauren, and we took Lauren on when she was three days old. It's been a dream of mine since I was eight to go to the Olympic Games. I remember sat in the living room with my nan and granddad watching the Olympics and I remember seeing Kelly Holmes win gold. And at the time I didn't know what sport I, I wanted to do, I just wanted to go to the Olympic Games. You just knew when she was young she was, she was going to do something wonderful. You just knew, she, it was in her, you know? You see, Lauren, I have a problem. I'm not even good at one sport. You're really <laughs> good at like three sports. You started playing football first, was it? Yes, when I was eight I was playing for a a boys club called Fleur de Lys in, in the Welsh Valleys. I was the only girl in the team. I was always bigger than the boys as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, at the age of 14 then, I had to join a girls team. She was head and shoulders above everybody. And whenever we took her, everybody would go, wow, wow, look at this player, what are we gonna do, you know? And as soon as she, they were open, she wouldn't get out of the granddad's car, you know? I received my senior cap at the age of 16. I got 52 caps for Wales. How then did you switch over to kickboxing? I started kickboxing when I was eight as well, so I was, I was kickboxing alongside playing football. You did both together? I was doing the, yeah, I was doing oh. the both together. I'll always remember her coming through the door. Little young girl, bright blonde hair. Gran and granddad will bring her along. Oh, she's back again, she's back again. And her work rate was insatiable. It was, it was just infectious. At the age of 12, I won my world kickboxing title fighting a senior and uh, I won a four-time world kickboxing titles and obviously kickboxing not being in the Olympics I had to obviously decide then at the age of, of 16 to switch over to boxing. Lauren's a natural, multi-talented, uh, tremendous feet, quick hands, <laughs> she's a real rare talent. <laughs> In 2016 after Rio Olympics I had a trial for Team GB I went from training every night training with Wales through the week and then I was taxi driving on the weekends as well to being on a, <laughs> yeah, being on a... Taxi um, driving, I love it, it, brilliant. Yeah, picking up all the drunks on a Friday and Saturday oh, night. Yeah. But, uh, but they didn't mess with you though, Lauren, through that. No, I said, yeah. It's so interesting about the Team GB and the sort of Olympics thing has been such a big part of your whole life, isn't it? You've really tried to try to find your way to that. That's your ultimate goal, isn't it? You want to, you know, want to be at the Olympics. Yeah, definitely. When I was young, I had to write this story in school and I had, I had three dreams. Lauren said she wanted to be a world champion kickboxer, play football for Wales, and she wants to go to the Olympics. The teacher laughed and I said, the thing is you should never try and shatter their dreams. She's a phenomenal athlete and she's a real role model for the females, certainly at GB Boxing and in the team. She's in a great position now to go on and fulfil her potential, which is win an Olympic medal. Lauren, obviously a lot of people have been supporting you at home and in your local village. Tell me a little bit about what it means to them and what they've, what they've done for you. I'm from a little town in, in the valleys called Ushra Manak. I'm having cards sent to my house, um, pictures sent to my house for me to sign. And it's just nice to have that support and to inspire the next generation as well. 
And Lauren, how is it that your, your nan's going to you know, support you and, and keep an eye on what you're doing, keep you, keep you motivated? When I'm away at a tournament, she'll send me inspirational text messages. What sort of things does she say in her messages? She'll just remind me of how hard I've worked over the years and uh, how much my dreams mean to me. And she always used to say to me, reach for the moon. If I fall short, I land on the stars. And that's something that's always stuck with me. Good words. I, mean, I think she should start like, a company. They'll be sending out inspirational text <laughs> yeah. messages to everyone. Yeah, Keep everyone going. Have, yeah. The Olympics mean the world to me. If I was to go and win a gold medal, it'd top everything in my career. It's just sad that your grandfather's not here to see it, because he would have been the proudest man in the valley. Proud, more than proud. What she've done is unbelievable, really. It's something that I take with me in the ring. I know he's always looking down on me. I bet your grandparents are very proud of you. Thank I'm you sure you'll make them even more proud come this Olympics. So well done. Thank you very Good much. Luck. Thank you.